9,000, and now 90,000. But you're not, they were not putting that in the way they should have put it in. They were not showing that as an expense. Showing the debt the and the income, but not the expense. Paul, also, the printing does not just include the news and views. We have a lot of other printing that is going into that dollar amount. I'll just give you one figure so you get an idea. Uh, this was the last time, last checks I wrote. $71,007.53 to News and Views for the November News and Views. That's what we had to pay. The last month it was $64,000. We had to add up three pages. Excuse me. Wait, I'm sorry. You do not have to shout out like that. I was explaining to Paul some of the if you say an average of six thousand dollars a month, what is that up to in twelve months? Over sixty thousand dollars. Right. Seventy-two thousand. Yeah. Right. Seventy-two thousand dollars. So that's part of the. That's the reason. Can we find another printer who may do be more to do it for us at a less price? Can I explain something about the music views? Hold on. We just changed printers just because going. we were not getting. A bang for our buck from you the other thousand years from the previous yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. under code enforcement, uh, vehicle maintenance. We got two brand new vehicles, 21 and 22. For the first six months, $453.28 was cost for the maintenance of those vehicles. So you think of a thousand maybe for the year. And they're budgeting 5000 for two brand new vehicles. Do we have a warranty with those vehicles? We have warranties. But their warranties aren't for tires, for everyday um, wear and tear on the vehicles. Remember, these vehicles run 24-7 on these roads. So I allow that amount of money in there when, we, when the finance company our finance committee met. We went over all of that and we decided let's uh, play it safe. Tires, uh, number one, are not cheap. So that's why we left that in there. Okay? How many miles roughly do the vehicles put on a year, do you know? Greg, do you, could you give us a figure, please? 30 to 35,000 a year per vehicle. Okay. Uh, my next question is getting back to last month on the treasurer's report. I gave a detailed report for the August showing there was a difference of 53,33682. That was a month ago. What is your reply to that difference? The August treasurer's report, which is the ending balance for July and adding in all of the income and expenses. I gave you a line by line, our income, our expenses, and it came up to 53,336.82. I also did July's. That comes up with 180,963.81 difference. I just did this September. That comes up with a 91,631.49 difference. Why such a big difference? As I said before, this is just a summary report. I, this is what I will get the goals by. That's what's yeah, that's what the bookkeeper goes by. What the figures that she gets to put the treasures put together month to month. There's probably always going to be some kind of discrepancy because maybe not all our expenses have been recorded. Well, they should. Be yeah, but I'm saying you have a 
personal checking account, sometimes it's not right because a check is outstanding. I'd like to say, Rosa, you're going yeah. to bank statement every month. Yeah. It shows an opening balance and then it shows a closing balance. And they, they should match. Ours do not match month to month. Just like I said, you had a July, just go real quick. July, you're, you had a closing balance of 237, 659, 78. You had an income of 167, 606.45. Total income 405, 266.23. Subtract operating, 80,000, 372, 12. Gives you 324, 8, 94, 11. Subtract the 45.570, which comes out of the operating fund. Goes into reserves. Leaves you with 2279, 32411, RND balance, the ending balance shows 225,987.29 with a difference of 53,336.82. And like I said at the last meeting, the only time we had a balanced treasurer's report that the opening balance and the closing balance coincided, it, it showed evil when Rich Stratton was the treasurer and he had a breakdown of all our expenses beyond what we had in operating. That stock hasn't started since. I want to end it at that. Okay, Pop. Okay, my next one, <laughs> the Gate Century. It cost us $12,000 for Gate Century to be I guess programmed and everything, everything else. It's costing us each homeowner 37 cents a month out of their $48. Do we have a contract with them? How long is the contract for? I'm not sure. I think it's a year. How long? I think it's a year. A year. But I have to check it. Okay. For sure, Paul. I will check it. Right. Also. If pertaining to that, we're paying 37 cents a month right now. In that contract, is there a built-in clause for next year? It could go to 40 cents or a 10 percent increase. We haven't. There's no way we can predict that, Paul, at this time, with inflation and everything else. We don't know. We don't know what's going on. Well, based we on based on it right now, yeah. it's. It's one thousand forty-seven dollars and ten cents a month for that thirty-seven cents over a year. It's twelve thousand five hundred and sixty-five dollars and twenty cents. That's what it's costing us right now with that extra. I call it a maintenance fee. Mm -hmm. I think it's an outrageous amount. This is for Captain Sugar. Captain Sugar, how many break-ins? or robberies have we had so far this year? I can't give you an exact number off the top of my head. Quite what? frankly, I would have to go back and, and, and look at the... You're, you're on that. Give us an estimate. You should know the figure. Off the top of my head since January 1st? I can't do that one. Well, I can't don't do know that what that figure either is. Let's see if you don't have the figures in front of you. So hopefully at the next meeting, you can provide us with these figures. Sure, I'll just get them right off the sheriff's website. Like, okay. Yep, the absolutely. next board meeting, if sure. you don't mind. Because, you know, Jerry proposed this gate century, hoping we would unwanted people out of this park that don't belong here. And that's why I asked Captain Schuger if he had the figures, which he doesn't have. So we will, we will get that in the next meeting. Also, I know the gates cost us, outgoing gates cost us $25,000. The outgoing gate, we all know, opens slowly and then closes super slow. Yesterday, my, Betty and myself went out four cars piggyback one another because they don't want to wait for the gate to come down. Friday, three cars piggyback one another. And they're cars that are not waiting for that gate to come down. They just, it goes back up. They are too slow.
to work. As I said, I think they have more work to do on them. And um, I know they come, they know that they come down slow. I mentioned that last month. Uh, I also, when I left the Ed Building uh, parking lot today, two cars went through at the same time. But so one of these days, one of those gates are going to come down on top of a car, and then that's going to be their fault. Are we, are we planning to install these on the incoming gates also? No? They are not due for replacement. Okay. I hope by then we have it now going up fast. Okay, one, one last question. Early this year, at a workshop meeting, the past treasurer had asked the board that what are they going to do about bringing up the $100 capital improvement fund, a one-time fee for new homeowners. The reply back was the budget committee will have to look at that when they do their review. My question is, this, what happened to the $100 capital improvement fund? I really don't know, Paul. I, I don't know if they decided that it was, wasn't fair. I mean, I'm just saying, I, I don't know the exact, I know part of it because I was on the board when it came up, but the, how it was resolved, I really don't know. Did the budget committee even look at it? I wasn't on the budget, so I can't answer that. I wasn't on the budget committee then, and I wasn't the treasurer at that time either, so I can't answer that. And do you have an answer? I had brought up at one of those meetings last, if we had that, and there were 245 homes sold last year, we would have had $24,500 in our treasury. This year there's 155 homes sold so far. If we had it on the budget for last year, for November, we would be, we would have 15,500 so far this year. Why wasn't it presented with the budget committee to look at? Because they said, the board said that's up to the budget committee to look at and make a decision. Uh, we'll look into it because, like I said, and there, I just don't because I wasn't part of that. But we'll look into it and why it was was rejected. Okay, we'll get an answer. You weren't on the committee, so it's, you can't answer that, Rosemary. Really, that's understandable. I'm still in reason I looked it up because they said they would look at it because if we had this, I call it slush fund money. It could go towards, if we have to have a dollar increase next year, a two dollar increase, it would help along the way. Hey Paul, that's not the only ramification, is the IRS is going to be standing there wanting their fair share of that hundred dollars. And you can go to the bank. So what? So what? We've got a tax receipt. We're taxing us. That's why there are other taxes. I think everybody knows me by now. This is the last time I'll be up here tonight. I have reviewed previous budgets going back to 2017. All of those budgets had an income source page with them. The last two years, under this GM, we have not had an income source page in with the budget. So you've got the expenses, but how in the hell do we know where all this money's coming from if you're not going to give us an income source? And the other thing, Kim, 
When you talk to the lawyer, are you going to send out an email blast about the amendment? Yeah. And the changes? And anybody that's already voted, that will be null and void? I've got to find out what his, com uh, his comments were. Uh, How will we know? But I will share the copy of the email with the there you. And put it out as yeah, well. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll come out as an email blast through we, the office. We need that transparency that we're not giving. Right. Amen. You know, the pool was I've, closed for I've, several weeks. I Nobody got, wrote anything till today. I have gotten you everything that you've requested of me. Have I or have I not? No. No, I have not missed any. All right, I got you that ruling from the attorney that you asked for at the last budget meeting. Or the file was saying. I had it last week. We never saw it. She read it. Why can't we have a copy if it's been read? I can do it now that it's been read. Yes. Now that I would like to copy Hello? it. Hello? What are you talking about? what you're talking about? She's asking about the attorney's interpretation between Section 7 and Section 8 of the final modifications. Yes, they can, they can have that. They can't have the emails between him and I. He told me that was confidential between the client and the attorney. But, but, but the, the interpretation on those two sections, I think. Yes, Carol, he said that the wording was going to be changed on those. No, he did not say that. Yes, it's that the resignation? No, he did not say that. I get it. I get it. I don't have an Well, if the wording's going to be changed, then I think everybody needs to know. He did not recognize you. Okay. Good night. I have one quick question to the audit. We did file an extension. That extension expired October 17th. Since the audit is not completed, have we paid income tax? Are we getting penalties? What's happening? Excuse me? So then we paid income tax? Yes. Income tax has been paid towards the money? Yes. Okay. Yes. And Carol, I just want to ask you one question. You did state here that the wording was going to change. It was going to say that if they missed three meetings, it was going to be considered that they resigned. That is what you state. That is not what's written in the amendment on the ballot that went out to the residents. Okay. Just like Linda, I will get you that wording. It is said, he said, it, if they missed three meetings, it would be deemed that they resigned. It doesn't, it doesn't affect But that's totally different wording than what's on the, the ballot that the residents have. Okay, so I don't I'm not sure. arguing with you. I'm only telling you what the attorney told us, what we were advised to say, and if you'd like to come down and look at it, I will show it to you. But that's not, the wording is one thing on the ballot, and you're stating this interpretation to be something different. So really, which one is it so the residents know whether or not they want to vote yes or no? Or maybe we should vote no because we can't get correct wording. Thank you. Uh, Mike Meinsberg, uh, Unit 2. And I just have a question. Is on? Yeah, Unit 2, Mike Meinsberg. And anyway, I just have one question about the, uh, or, right, a couple of questions, but we'll always answer. And, uh, and it's regarding Social Security payments. Um, you know, I think you changed the way the budget works as far as where you allocate where the Social Security payments go to the, to the for the employees. Who does your payroll? The bookkeeper. Well, it's just that uh, if you pay Social Security more than uh, uh, six point two percent. Our portion of the employee Social Security is 6.2% of the salary. So the only thing you can budget is for Social Security is 54000 and that's about a third of what you have under administration. The so only thing I can tell you, sir, is Intuit, through QuickBooks, um, does the financials, does the taxes, 
takes out Social Security, does workman's comp. The only thing we do is we put in the times that the employees work for it to get paid. Okay, I understand that, but this, this budget is wrong then relative to that Social Security line. Okay, in all public perks as well, you don't have a budget for Social Security, and I think the IRS will come after that 6.2%. Because that's the, that's the employer's portion of Social Security. It's all paid for out of the admin budget. Okay, that, that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense, but you, 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 you kind of mixed it up on the budget in the various other departments. Well, you're, 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 that's the way it should happen. Yes, it can't kind of, if you look at last year's budget, you'll see that the ex expenses were in the four departments, but they didn't have any charges against them because right. it all came out of admin. Okay. So that's how we left it and corrected the other parts. So, so what you're saying is 54,000 is 6.2% uh, of the salary, of the, of the salaries and wages total. Okay. Uh, so far, I have had one complaint on it. You're cooking. 
Uh, so I'll tell you all about that. Uh, I did have a complaint that lady got home and her, her fries were cold. Uh, that's truth. But it's okay. We, we offered to make it right and, and we dealt with it. So anyway, uh, come up and try it. Thank you. It's there for your pleasure. Bye. Thank you, Ron. If I told you that, I'd have to kill you. Uh, we, make, we make a small percentage of it, helps our budget over there. But we brought it in basically because uh, we talked about one coming into brokerage for brokerage before and didn't, didn't work out for whatever reason. Uh, but we were able to get one and brought it in here. Uh, I interviewed about, we had a first food truck, it was a disaster. Uh, I interviewed about seven different food trucks before it. I brought this guy in. Uh, and the thing that uh, sold me on him, uh, my son's a chef, my wife's a pretty darn good cook. Um, yeah. and, and they both talk about how hot you keep the food. This guy talked to me about first about how hot he kept his food before we talked about what kind of food he had. When he said how hot he keeps his food, I knew he was the guy I wanted there that wanted to get sick. So, enjoy. Thank you. Century. This thing was. Gate Century. The residents of this park had no say in it. It was forced upon us by the board of directors. This should have been a vote of the community and get their opinion. It's with a bad thing by this board. There were a lot of people at that first meeting and of that they had. People were upstairs, didn't want Gate Century. They were happy with what they had. Well, this is what was said at that meeting by a lot of people. And I feel that the board acted improperly for the residents of this board. Thank you. the last one. It's nine o'clock. Do you need to come up or something, ma'am? Are you okay? All right. I uh, like a motion. Oh. Beverly Epstein, Unit 6. I, for one, I think everybody was complaining about the previous gate system because everybody can get in. I, for one, enjoy having to know when my vendors are coming in or when my guests have come in. And I find out both with the guy I've been very pleased with it so far. <laughs> 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 Mary Sweeney, you look I've been sitting here all night, listening to everybody complain. Everybody has a great. I'd like to know, how many of you are running for the board? Would you like to sit up there? You can... Yeah, why not? Well, then why don't you put your name in and run for the board? Well, why don't you run for the board? You can sit up there and take the stuff that these people have been taking all night. They have the answers. I have a comment from the YouTube community that we like, did have it entered into the meeting. It was, uh, I believe, when Mr. Harris was speaking. Uh, the comment was the old system was outdated. So I just want to let the uh, YouTube community know that we we do see you and we are entering you into the records. I'm 
Uh, can I have a motion to adjourn? I would like to second that one. Okay. Adjourn at 9 o'clock.